The prison break. Everyone was busy doing their chores of work like washing, cooking food, serving food, etc. And all this is being judged by their warden, who looks strict and highly workaholic. On the other side, there were prisoners who were extremely frustrated and out of frustration. They are angry on their warden for being so strict with them. Warden strictly looks towards their work and wouldn't leave them without doing their part of work. Prison AH, what a fulfilling day of work time to clock out. Warden, whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? P, why home of course? Warden, home? You're not allowed to leave prison. Now, P, what? Then how am I supposed to spend my paycheck? Prison in huge anger and frustration. Warden, hey buddy, what do you got a hole in your head or something? Prisoner, you don't understand, I did jobs. Warden is very angry and prisoner. Warden, no you did time and you're gonna do a lot more of it if you don't get back in there now. Prison moved back to jail and started talking to his fellow prisoners and all started shouting I'm in here, I'm in too, we hate you Marvin. Fart in a jar, Martin prisoner. It was a working time all are busy in their works. Some are serving food, some are washing utensils, some are testing shots of guns. All are dreaming of breaking prison and in a way to break the prison and go out to free themselves but this couldn't happen and a fart of one prisoner spoiled it all. Warden was very angry on each one of them and locked them more dangerously. Now here comes the sound of whistle from the rooftop and one of the prisoners while in nap heard it from his window and started looking out of it to hear precisely. Now he sends a letter where it's written grim and he read it out quickly and as soon as he sounded grim, prisoner throws him out of the building and started shouting, haha we made it. Prisoner 2, what's the plan now boss? Boss, I don't know we have made this far away. Prisoner, we can fly away, you fly right? Boss, not without my magic cape. Prisoner, hmm, we could jump shoot for those brushes. Boss, what are you a stoopy head the janitor would have to clean us off the pavement? Prisoner 2, I wish I could be a janitor, Mr. Soapy Hands is right, we would never survive a fall like that. Anonymous voice in the background said, you guys ever see a goldfish? Boss and prisoners shocked and said, what? Ted Bear Prisoner. It was a midnight when all our interests and discussions went on. Anonymous man, when a goldfish is here, constipated its feces becomes coated with mucus for ease of passage. After excretion, he feels lighter and jumped out of the wall and said, That's a relief, I feel. A hundred pounds lighter. P. Wait, there's no face. Everyone shocked and started looking above. P. No face. You two faces, rat. Jailer, right. Sorry, gang. I got promoted from prison inmate to prison guard. P2. Wait, you can't do that? Warden arrived from Brack with a speaker and started shouting. Warden, I am the warden and I can do whatever the flip and freight I want and right now, I want to kill you on three boys. Warden started counting from one, two. Prisoners started talking with each other. P, looks like we blew up last shot old buddy. Warden, two and a half. P2, I gotta come clean, you're the best prison friend I've ever had. Both prisoners hugged each other and started crying. Warden, two and three quarters. Anonymous prisoner, don't worry mates, death just means you finished surviving. Other prisoner, oh no, my best friend who forgot to invite me to the prison break are in break trouble and there's nothing I can do to help them unless he started talking to himself after looking to jars in frustration and guilt. No, I can't let anyone know the truth that I fart in a jar. Martin farted in a jar more than one time in fourth grade. If they knew it was actually lots of times, they wouldn't be my friends anymore. Everyone already knows, and we're not your friends now. But then what kind of friend would I be if I did nothing, if I out of my own dirty smelly secret over their lives? No, no, it's time to come clean, it's time, I admit to the world that I lied. In anger, frustration and guilt, he started throwing each of the jars of farts from the window, and it smelled so stinky which hit the warden, and he disappeared leaving his skeleton in a badge of warden which jailer put over his shirt. Jailer, oh a promotion, I love jobs. Fart smell isn't coming to the prisoners, they're battling to survive out of it. P2, I can't punch it clean, it's too stinky. P, wait a minute, the tum, that's sturdy. P2, oh my god. He then punches the dirt and went underground to escape out of prison. Jailer, goodbye friends forgot to write, and so senior clean fist punched through three foot fields of dirt and came out clean and on the other side, truth to be told. Other prisoner, prison just isn't as much fun without them. I have to remind myself some farts weren't meant to be jarred. 
they're just too stinking when they float away. The part of you, they knew it was a cinder charm of those rejoys, but still the place you live is just filled with lingering whips and fleeting memories. Now they're gone. I guess I just missed my friends, I hope to see them again. I'm sure I will find them eventually. You know, they're probably looking for me actually. Maybe they're back at the jail. Yeah, I'll go check there. This ends the story with freedom of prisoners.